Ahlam wa sahlam ya shabab. Welcome to part 26. In the previous part, we are we did our unit testing part for the composable functions. And as I promised, in this video, we will go through this shortcut commands. So basically, now these commands make our lives easier as developers, and I will go through them with you. And lo, now let's, <laughs> as you can see, I'm pretty much excited. Now let's just uh, abort this. So you can, you can take each command here and put it in a terminal. You always just have to put p and pm before of it. So let's start p and p and pm dev. This command you already know. This is how we start our web server, our, our dev server. As you can see, now we can call localhost 3000. This always takes a little bit of time to start everything and so on and so forth. Uh, now, as you can see, we have done it. Everything is up and running. And yeah, as I said, you already know this. The web server is now running. You already know this. We already did it a couple of times. And let's abort this. Let's say clear. Let's go to the next one. The next one is very, very important. Build is very, very important. Um, this compiles and balances your application for production de uh, deployment. When you run now pnpm build, this will generate the production files in our disk directory. So, as you can see, now we have no disk directory. Let's change it, I would say. Okay, now let's say pnpm and we say build. production building for production. This can take a little bit, but this is perhaps one of the most, and now as you can see, we have now this folder and now the index HTML and so on and so forth and all the things. This is very important that, that this went successful. As you can see, it was successful because if you can't build your project, you, can, you can't also build and uh, Docker image out of your project. Makes sense, right? It's, sounds very log logical. If you can't build it, you can also generate a Docker file for deployment. And what we are going to in the next in the next video. So, but now let's go to index.html in this folder. As you can see, I can open it with uh, another browser. And actually now the dev server is not running, but yeah. If we run again this one, okay, curious if this runs. Uh, no, it's not production because it's another port, but yeah, nonetheless, you will see in the next video how to use um, how to use um, Docker to generate an image, and this command will be used to generate the Docker image out of it. Uh, here we have the preview uh, command. The preview command serves the production build of your, of your application for testing. This command lets you locally preview the production build after running the build script. Okay, now let's do this. Basically, what you also can do is we have build or dev, and you just pnpm preview. And now it starts also on another port. Let's check it out. And this also works. As you can see, we have another port right now. Before we had 3000. Does this still work? No. But this works. As you can see, close task, old tasks. Also inspect and see on an iPhone SE console. Okay. Uh, Great task. Uh, yes. Let's 
go to close tasks and store okay this looks good now you can abort this uh, now a very uh, funny thing or just for code quality we need to use lint so let's use lint uh, basically when you run this command right now as you can see this multiple things also running um, so when you run this command it runs ESLint to analyze your code for potential errors or code style issues and automatically fixes them where possible the this part in here this part this option ensures it skips files ignored by git okay now let's run pnpm lint maybe you can fix some things oh as you can see uh, we have some things that we could uh, fix uh, now let's see uh, unfortunately we cannot open it the files from here okay now let's go through it edit tasks something in edit tasks composables what it says uh, we don't need this import so remove it okay this we have fixed uh, now says something task details page let's go to pages task details and yeah we have also these things we are not using so we don't need to import it task update page i guess we have also some imports we don't use yeah don't use that i have removed it as you can see i've been removed it get tasks okay dot test and where is our sorry there are our tests get tasks and here we have all the things we're not using okay and here we have all, this is not used by us okay now we have done this now clear let's run again pnpm lint and mabrook you have no lint warnings anymore but now we want to see if the things we are done if they didn't break anything in the tests so I mean you already know this command but let's run this ag again uh, pnpm test colon unit let's run again tests and still the tasks even when we remove the unused variables nothing is broken everything passed that's great now let's go out of it and now we want to see how our test coverage is we'll get our test report so again test but this time not unit we want the coverage report oh and as you can see we have a coverage report and now we see where we have a coverage where we can improve our coverage setup tests 100 of 100 and that's great but just let me just think one th one thing i guess ah no 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 now we see we have also coverage the folder coverage when we built the project uh, this uh folder got generated and we have a coverage folder now which is gets generated let's go on index let's open it in chrome and as you can see here we have a more better visual understanding what is going on uh now for composables let's look use task navigation we have no tests because there is not something really we can test there to be honest uh let's see composables they were just navigating things not sure how to test those things um 
maybe this part this, these things I don't know how to test but doesn't matter uh, it's not really business logic they're just navigation things but here in cat task you can also see what you could improve uh, this part we could improve I think and uh, here and yeah we don't really test also this part but yeah nonetheless we we get a good overview maybe we have to a little bit you know restructure the whole application stuff to write better tests but yeah uh, that's basically it for the shortcut commands as you can see we put we test all of them always have to put pnpm before it and then dev and then build and then preview then lint and test dot colon unit or pmp test colon coverage and that's how you do things but you can also run uh each of those here in the console uh from if you are it depends on your uh, on your i would say on your id or editor you're using but let me just test it Should also work here. yeah you can also i ah, was in debug nice and uh, yeah let's run this again like this and it runs from the terminal okay that's great but yes this is this is basically it and yeah in the next video as i promised we will create a docker file plus a file for nginx and then i will show you how you push your docker image to docker hub and pull the image from docker hub and uh, start it on an uh, ubuntu server and yeah basically how you deploy it manually how you deploy it manually this is i will show you in the next and last video so see you soon